Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Andy here with you. Um, yes, we're sitting near so to the uh, Mirrorside Park, which is actually behind me. Um, as I said earlier, we're trying a different format of video filming, actually. This time using radio mics and, uh, well, just making it a little bit different. So um, today we're going to do something about Sinaitz, um, the good and the bad. Yeah, Riverside Park. Now, you, if you're probably wondering why there's a big bank around here, the reason is it actually floods a lot here. I mean, a really a lot, and uh, especially in the winter time. And uh, in fact, we had a little bit of a flood down here a few days ago, but the, the water's gone now, and uh, well, the car park is actually dry. So that's so the bad bit. It floods. The good bit is that they've got a big boundary all the way around here and stop the water running into, well actually in the Eaton Four just over here. I'm sure you've heard of the Thames Barrier. Well, we have a Sydney's Barrier, believe it or not, here at the, uh, the Riverside Park. And that, uh, that's just here, and as you can see it. So when it floods, they shut the gates, stop the water, you know, well, it stops most of the water running into the street behind me. Anyway, we're going to head into town now and, uh, well, see what else we see, the good and the bad bits. So one of the good bits is the Bridge Hotel. And actually, before, a long time ago, it's actually known as the, uh, uh, the Half Moon, but uh, that was many, many years ago. And looking at the river, actually, it's quite, it's quite swollen. But of course, we've had a lot of rain lately. Anyway, We'll walk further into the town and uh, we'll see what we can see. So here at St Neitz Market Square. Market day is actually on a Thursday and um, well, as you see, other days it's actually a car park. Um, which, is, which is not bad actually because I think, you know, you do need a good park area here in St Neitz and this is, this is ideal. Remember to buy your tickets because if you don't, you get a parking ticket. So one of the bad things here in St Neitz is the Falcon Pub and, and I mean what is actually happening here, you know, I don't really know. It's been empty for about, what, 15, 20 years um, and uh, well, I mean some people say they're going to buy it, then it's not being brought and uh, I don't know what's happening to it actually. Someone said it's going to be turned into flats. I suppose time will tell. Now what is quite nice down the market square in fact um, it's just like a avenue of trees very nice I know when they do the um, the Sydney it's like Christmas light switch on um, they have a lot of uh, LED lights in the leaves and everything or well, I mean the branches because all the leaves are gone by then but uh, it looks very nice so that's a good thing a good thing about Sydney it's okay now another bad thing Well, an old post box, don't see many of them now. <laughs> I think they're going very slowly and uh, it's nice to see them. This is actually opposite the corn house we just see just a minute ago. The corn house is now, that's been closed now for, I don't know, half a year perhaps, probably. Different reasons why it's been closed down, but uh, well, we'll soon find out uh, soon what happens. Now what you just saw from the air was the Priory Centre, which is actually on the, on the River Ouse. Um, it um, belongs to the council and, uh, well, they have all different events there. They have wrestling there, discos, uh, antique fairs, anything. So um, that's a, a good thing about St Neitz. So right opposite the Priory Centre, um, is the uh, the Oast Lounge. Now I think the Oast Lounge is actually closed at the moment uh, but um, it used to be an 
well, it used to be an old bell foundry here and uh, it's still got the big chimney. It's, it's still here actually. And also the story is that um, there is a tunnel here as well, which I've mentioned before, that goes down to the Priory Park, which is a, probably about another, what, mile and a half going that way. So um, yeah, so um, this is the old bell foundry that used to be here many, many years ago and uh, now turned into a, um, uh, well, the Oast Lounge, but I don't believe it's open at the moment. So here we are in the Waitrose car park, believe it or not, which is just there. Waitrose is just a little bit further over there. And um, this is where the original priory was, actually, the monastery. And it was around about 974 it was established. And uh, of course, it's no longer here, it's gone. But um, that's one, how one of the names of St. Neitz got his name here because there was a stone that was broke up from. I think I do believe that from down Cornwall was brought up here and, uh, and that's how Sydney has got its name. So car park, the old monastery and uh, also there's also maybe uh, an entry to a tunnel as well that joins onto the, the place that we just looked at just a minute ago and, uh, and then it goes down further down to the, um, the, priory, um, the priory park. We've been looking for the actually the actual tunnel, but we haven't found it so far. But anyway, so anyway, so that's it for that. Right, let's move on and find something else. Um, this is a, a a good spot as well, actually. To be honest, really, I mean, we've got supermarkets, so it has to be good, I suppose, really, in some ways. Let's move on. Well, we're going past the Halifax now at the moment, and the Halifax is haunted. It used to be the pub called the uh, the Royal Oak. Well here it is, one of the oldest buildings in the high street in St. Neitz. It's this this place here. Um, at the moment it's, the, it's a Kodak shop and with a Chinese uh, sort of uh, well a pharmacy so to speak really next door to it. Um, yeah I think it was about 1600, something like that. And uh, yeah, very famous old building here in St. Neitz. We're actually gonna go down uh, Church Walk now. That's a good thing. The next thing I'm gonna show you, I don't think it's pretty good. So here it is. I see on Facebook everywhere, people hate it. And why did the planners allow it? I mean, I know it's modern architecture, modern, modern architecture, I can't even say the word now, but uh, it is, in fact, it, in fact, it looks like a, a container, doesn't it? So here we are, this is Brook Street, river on the side, some nice houses as you can see, but they have one problem here, and that is a parking issue and uh, it's very near to the town centre, but it's quite a narrow road, and they do get uh, the traffic wardens up and down here, a lot of people complain about it. But hey, that's the 21st century for you, that's life. So this is Brook Street, a nice quiet part of St. Nick's, which is probably about 200 yards from the, um, the high street. Faro Lounge. Now, I sat down here about three or four days ago and I bumped into one of my viewers um, called the old, the old Duffer or the old Governor. And so I want to say a big hi to you. I'm sorry my memory's gone, I forgot all about it. Anyway, I want to say a big hi to you. We sat here for, for a half an hour or so, putting the world to rights. And it was very nice meeting you and your mate as well. And uh, well, anyway, here we are. 
This is one of the, one of the good bits, I think, really, I just say, really, because it's a, like a, it's a cafe um, that's actually on, on the high street, so to speak. And uh, you can sit here and just watch the world go by. Very nice. Well, you see, it's a lot of charity shops, so let's have a look and see, see what we can see. Do you know, I think Sydney has had quite a few charity shops. I think probably four to five. And uh, well, um, you get some bargains. And if you want to save the planet, this is the place to go. Plenty of, well, plenty of clothes. I mean, I've actually brought stuff from charity shops as well. I'm helping the planet and also saving a bit of money. Big range of stuff. And well, in fact, actually, apart from clothes, you can also buy electrical stuff as well. DVD players, VHS players anything um it's quite surprising what you find when you look around so uh, books as well and, uh, anyway so that's the charity shops and as i said 45 of them in the sydney area right let's head back out to the street Well, there we go, guys. That's my, my little trip for sitting there. It's the good and bad. I hope you liked it. As I say, we're trying a different format. Please let me know what you think of it, because I know some of the stuff you probably already know about I've done before here, but I just thought we'd try a different format and see, see what you think of it, and uh, if you should continue it this way as well with radio mics and stuff. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. And by the way, the names come back to me. It was old Gaffer I spoke to. I went outside on the high street a few uh, a few days ago. So a big hi to you as well, mate, and your friend as well. So once again, guys, thanks very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. And of course, leave a comment if you wish. Once again, this is Andy saying thanks very much for watching. And uh, well, we'll catch you, uh, well, a little bit later. I'll say bye for now. Bye-bye.